Hi guys, welcome back to Stagiaire. Uh, today we have a really special guest with us, Giorgio, who's the CTO of Snapfit. And please, Giorgio, tell us about your amazing project. Hello, everybody. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I am Giorgio. I am the founder of uh, Snapfit. Uh, our company deals with e-commerce of shoes in particular. In particular, we develop the technology to uh, make it possible to try on shoes from home. So uh, the idea is that you take a few pictures of your foot, both feet actually, uh, left and right. So you can get the 3D image of your feet and uh, our app matches uh, your 3D the three images of, of your feet with the um, inner volume on the shoes. And so we are able to uh, suggest you the, the best size for, for, for you. And, uh, and also um, to, to give you an insight how, about the comfort of the shoe. So uh, even if you are at home, you can really have an experience that looks like the, uh, the real experience in the shop. That's amazing. So basically, if, if I have a problem, for example, antipronation or something like that, then you can check this little problem of my feet and, and tell me which one is the best uh, shoes to buy. Is well, you know, the, the, very, the very first problem to deal with is uh, the, the sizing, actually, because you are talking about more advanced problems, but at the very beginning, uh, you try to, to guess the size. They usually, uh, what you do is uh, uh, you, you choose based on your previous experience, but uh, if you are looking at a new model, a new brand that you don't know, uh, it's very likely that uh, um, you, you will choose the wrong size for you. So uh, first of all, we want to reduce the returns. This is the, the very, the most important goal of our, of our company because we want to cut the costs because, uh, uh, so, sorry, we want to cut the, uh, um, the returns because uh, they are not only costly for the company, but also from a green point of view, you know, uh, uh, shoes that go back and forth, uh, it is not a good thing for, for the environment, you understand, for the uh, CO2 and all, all uh, and yeah, the pollution. It, it's a bit I don't think e commerce uh, uh, is sustainable if we keep returning things. We must, away, we must to find a way to choose correctly at the very first time when possible. Absolutely, totally agree. Uh, I know that you are working with Cambridge University, so can you explain a little bit more about that? Uh, you know, uh, I was working with Cambridge a long time ago, so I have a long experience, uh, a long relationship with them, in particular with uh, uh, one of the professors, professors in there. So when I decided to run a, a startup, uh, I was working with them. So uh, the conjunction of our ideas inspired me in Snapfit. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so let's go into the interns world a little bit. So do yes. you hire interns? Yeah, we usually do that. So I okay. like to have younger, young people in my company, uh, especially because uh, they can bring fresh ideas. Uh, and I also like the idea to have that, that my company is like a, a lab where people can learn and not uh, you know, uh, I, I, I don't want only to, you know, provide technology and make business. I also want to, to teach somehow and to spread the knowledge and the technology. Absolutely. Totally agree. So which kind of background an intern has to have uh, to work with, uh, with your company? So just to give them an idea of what they should do, uh, which skills are required. Yeah, uh, so as a CTO, I'm more interested in uh, uh, developers. So I'm, I, usually looks, I usually look for uh, computer science people. I mean, it, it's not a must. They, they can be physicists, they can be mathematicians, uh, but I need them to be skilled with uh, computer science. So they need to know the basic tool like Git, you know, how to, at, at least the, the basics of coding. This is very mm -hmm. important from a technical point of view. Okay, okay. And which kind of soft skills are valued the most in your company? Uh, in my experience, I saw that uh, communication is very, very important. You know, uh, the intern is very young and he needs to learn. So uh, when I work with uh, people 
who, who talk, ask, you know, and report problems. It's much more easier for me and my team to support them. And uh, whereas with, uh, you know, shy people who don't talk too much, you never know what they are doing. It's a bit, a little bit problematic, you know. Then of course, commitment. Uh, we deal with hard technology. So artificial intelligence is very difficult. And uh, so uh, the gap at the beginning uh, might be quite high. And so we need to, yeah, we need commitment. And the other thing, I think it's precision. So uh, it's a work of precision in our case, you know. So uh, I, I, I would say three soft skills are the most important. Absolutely, cool. Okay, so and do you provide also virtual internships since this is the COVID situation? Do you think they're valued as much as the uh, like real internships or on-site internship? Or what do you think about this virtual situation right now? Well, to be honest, I very much prefer to have people in office because human interaction are much better. But it's a matter of fact that we are working with a we are we are sponsor of a PhD program in Cambridge. So that that means that uh, you know we are used with people who are abroad and far from from here. So it's not a problem basically. I prefer to have people here, but it's not a problem if, if uh, for COVID situation or for personal reasons. Someone prefers okay. to stay uh, work remotely. Yeah, absolutely. So, have you ever had interns from abroad since you're working with Cambridge, and where they were coming from? Well, uh, you know, uh, to be honest, we didn't have interns from from abroad actually, but uh, uh, we have we have been working with uh, the PhD PhD students since uh, January. So this is uh, not not an internship, but it's something similar. And uh, in office, I have a colleague from India. So oh, wow. even if we are based in Italy, we are quite uh, international, at, at least as mentality. But you know, uh, we are not in London, so this is not a place where uh, so 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 much people from abroad come. Okay, but what, what if, for example, if with pleasure you will be able to get some interns from abroad? Would you value this this the skills that they can? Uh, get into that they can take into your your company. Do you think it's it's something that you would look into uh, to hire yeah. or to have yeah. like an intern and then hire uh, someone from abroad as well? W what do you think is the plus coming from abroad? If there yeah, is I think I think it's a plus to be honest. So uh, I would like to have uh, because the more international mentality uh, I can bring into the company, the better it is. So. Okay. Uh, it, it's important, in my opinion, to, to open the, the, our doors to international people. And uh, very often they come from uh, different universities rather than Italians, so uh, subjects are taught in a different way. Uh, yeah, so there are a number of aspects that I would seriously consider. Great, cool. Okay, so are your internship paid and how long they last usually? Well, yeah, we pay interns. Um, and how long? Well, it's a good question. I we usually require at least uh, three months. It's the minimum. But uh, uh, average is from six to twelve months. Okay. And then usually, how much? How? Uh, which percentage of people that uh, are doing an internship with you then is becoming one of your colleagues? Do you? also like offer them to stay with you afterwards what do you what do they do usually they go back to study or what's happening well um so far we have an inter a couple of years ago who now is a colleague of ours uh the inter who is currently working with us uh i hope it will become i hope so because he's a very smart guy and uh, very willing to work on this on this particular subject so, so far the experience is positive. Sometimes I, I think uh, uh, it, it hasn't happened yet, but I think that uh, uh, the person has uh, um, some project for personal project, you know, so they just want to learn and then go, and we, which is so fine, of course. But uh, so far the, the successful experience are uh, pretty much 100%. <laughs> 
Great. Okay, good. Okay, anything else you would like to tell us? Have you won any prize? Uh, have, have you been mentioned from something? Like anything that you would like to tell us about the company that I, you think is useful for potential interns who's looking uh, to, to our interview right now? So anything that you would like to share with us, it's, it's, a, it's a plus for us. Well, you know, if there is someone in the audience who who loves artificial intelligence, machine learning, and uh, collection of data, you know, working with this kind of science, uh, he or she are very, very welcome, uh, because this is the kind of people we are looking uh, the most. Um, there is not so much, so, so many around. So, uh, yeah, this is maybe the idea. So do you have an email that you can share with us, which they can send a CV to? Yeah, sure. Do you want me to spell it? Yeah, okay. please. <laughs> so this is giorgio.raccanelli, is my name and my last name. So G-I-O-R-G-I-O dot R-A-C-C-A-N-E-L-L-I at Tria. The spelling is T-R-Y-A dot I-T. Perfect. Okay. So thank you so much, Georgia. It's been a pleasure to interview and thank you so much for sharing all this valuable information with us. And guys, see you next time with another company. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.